Good evening, stamping friends, and welcome to Linda's Stampin' Escape. How is everyone this evening? I am really excited to introduce a new class tonight. Actually, it's event, an event, not just a class. So excited to share that with you. And I also have a new online exclusive that we will be working with tonight. So, and I also have a new online exclusive that we will be working with tonight. Oh, there you heard it twice. <laughs> so, when you pop on in, don't forget to say hello at the end of the night. I do a drawing um, for everybody who watches my Facebook Live. Live. So there's Karen. Hello, Karen. So getting myself all set up here. I think we are ready. So as you can see, the announcements for bonus day is out. That begins tomorrow, July 3rd. And for every $50 spent, you earn a $5 coupon, which you can redeem in August. Beth and Sharon have joined us. Hello, ladies. So um, they do this pretty much every year. So those of you who are familiar with bonus days and you want to take advantage on um, getting some of your goodies now and then um, cashing out in August. That is what it's actually for. So I'm not going to have any small classes, you know, my regular in-home class, um, because I have a big event coming. So let me just swap that out and bring that in here. I'm excited because you guys have been asking for it and we have not done this since before COVID. So it's back. Um, big events are back, actually. I'm so excited. My first one is going to be a Christmas in July. And like the paper says, this isn't just a class. It's going to be a party. So I rented a hall for these big events. And um, on this one, the Christmas in July, we're actually making eight cards. So you'll be making eight Christmas cards and you'll get a taste of what's out there. Um, I asked what everybody wanted to see and everybody said, well, you know, we like seeing the new stuff, but let's see what else we can do with some of the stuff we got so that's what the christmas in july is you'll see a little new stuff but you'll see some stuff that's been around for a while and um you're gonna really enjoy it we're gonna have a hot chocolate bar and all sorts of christmas treats and everything else so save the date for wednesday july 24th get it the 24th so five months after our party will be christmas eve so we are going to celebrate five months early and hopefully um get you some ideas for your christmas card dawn says you are definitely not coming in loud and clear oh um not sure i did a test before we started and all the speakers are on as loud as they can go so i hope you guys can join me again save the date and then my next class will be in early august and that one is going to be for this one right here the frosted forest bundle this is a new online exclusive and it comes out tomorrow so you can purchase it tomorrow 
or you can wait for either the Christmas in July because this will be one of the featured stamp sets or you can wait for the class because you guys know I always have a special when you purchase the bundles in class. So Frosted Forest is what it's going to be. And then also in August, I have another big event coming and I'll post more about those later. And then in September, we'll have another big one. And you guys know what that one's gonna be, right? That'll be our catalog kickoff party. And we're gonna do it live and in person this time. Usually I'm doing it online and it won't be for the whole weekend, trust me girls, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So watch for those upcoming classes. Karen said, I do love my trees. Oh, you're gonna flip for this one. Let me open this up. First of all, you guys know me, I'm a sentiment girl, I love those. So. This one says, thinking of you and how you strengthen my life. Birthday wishes for a day as great as you are. A thank you. And then no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. I just love the sentiments in here. And the trees are so pretty. But this is just the beginning. Let me open this up. So you have not only those stamps and the trees as you see here but your coordinating dies let me just flip those open here and let's do a little playing here so this guy here coordinates with that one this one here coordinates with this one and this one here, so all our trees that we stamp can be die cut. Then they have two birds. So there's one bird you can stamp and then you can stamp it multiple times because they actually have two dies. Then you know that inner part of the tree that goes right in here. So you get a more realistic look. And if that isn't good enough, here it goes, I'm flipping. Oh, you will. Oh, my goodness. I got the tape here. So then they have the leafies to go on top yet. Oh, my gosh. So my mind was blown. And I just got this recently. So I haven't even played with it. But that's why I want to not only bring it in the Christmas in July. So we'll do a Christmas card or two with this one. And again, there's going to be eight cards for that event. Um, but then I want to do a specialized class because there is so much to this. So if the stamps and dies haven't blown you away yet, let me introduce one more piece of this bundle. And yes, there's three pieces to it. They have the masks. So this is for our big tree there. And then it's like totally layered. You can layer, layer, layer. And you can layer on the stamped image if you want, or you can just use the masks like this. You know, it's kind of hard to see this way, but you can just use these three together and create a beautiful tree. So you can do it two different ways. And not only do they have this big, beautiful tree, but then they have your two evergreens as well. So it's just, it's a bundle of fun. This one's going to be amazing. So again, we'll do um, one or two cards during the Christmas in July event. And then I will be doing a specialized class so you guys get hands on how to use um, the dyes and the masking all together, just like we did the um, other ones. Um, Joan says, can you buy the max masks? Sorry, lips aren't working. Separately from the bundle. I believe you can. Um, because you could with all the other ones, there's two other stamp sets um one is online and one is in the catalog that um you can use and they allowed you to get the stencils 
or mask separately because I bought extra when I did this at retreat. So let's just slide this over. I just got a quick card to do tonight. Like I said, I just started playing and I'm pulling in an old technique masking. And I did this last night. And then about 30 minutes ago, I thought, why did you not use the masking paper? I actually used just an old calendar that I had. Um, but yeah, use the masking paper. Make it even easier to do this technique. So yes, I think <laughs> Karen says, be still my heart. It, it, I'm blown away. I just just is really cool so let me just get on with this um and show you one of our old techniques and it is a masking te technique and i have my basic white here of course our eight and a half by five and a half which will be our um, card base so it's just a few layers we'll bring that down here Hello, Sandy and Joan and Beth. We got a nice crowd tonight. And I'm sure I missed a few of you. I'm sorry about that. I was too busy looking at that um, bundle. So our base here, I'll set that just over here for now and bring this back in. And then I have a basic white, which is set, uh, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then my mossy metal, which will be my mask um, or my mat, I'm sorry, M-A-T, my mat um, for the white. So those are our sizes. So I'm keeping it simple, ladies. I got to tell you, I love fancy cards, but sometimes I prefer a quick and easy just because that's pretty much what I have time for. So I do a little more specialized when I do my in-home classes. So let's get started here. We, you see the brush here. So we're going to be um, using our brush. There it is. I was looking for this, my mossy metal. Open this up. And I'm just gonna tap on this lightly. And once you make your stencil, you can keep that. And I'm just gonna come up in the corner here and just lightly color or swirl. Oops. That's why I think you should use the masking paper. But see how pretty that looks already? So I'm gonna go this way and flip this upside down. And then I'm gonna do this corner. I'd have to tap just a little bit more. Oop. Gotta hold them corners down. I'm telling you that masking paper is really wonderful and you won't have to worry about holding this down because it'll be already set for you. So I know um, we did this in a class just recently with the masking not this technique but we use the masking paper and it worked great so see how we got a little bit darker corners here and then it just fades off but you still have a little bit of a line there that is pretty so i can even see it on the screen so that's working pretty good it's very very light okay now i'm going to put this back where it belongs all right leave that mask and we're going to take this out of the way. We're going to bring this in and pull out. Whoops, wrong one. That's for my greeting. The perennial postage is what I'm using for my greeting. And I need the pad here. And I am thinking I left my block downstairs was so much easier when I could just do my 
things downstairs, but I don't know. I seem to get much better reception when I'm upstairs. Beth said, any idea on what the cost of the um, Christmas in July event will be? Yes, I, I have a base cost right now. And we are thinking for the eight cards and um, the hall and everything, it will be approximately $55. So I didn't think that was bad considering we do 25 for our four card class. So kind of keeping it in the same ballpark. Um, and our other event is going to be even bigger because we will be making 12 cards. I apologize. I have to run and get a block. Okay. Yes, we're going to be making eight Christmas cards. And again, this will be um one of them so we have our tree we have our little picture framed and we are going to grab a piece of scrap paper set that right there because i'm going to ink up stamp off and then we're going to stamp there this one i'm going to do a little bigger and then i'm going to stamp right next to it again and when you layer your colors you can use one color and make it look like four different colors just by stamping off a couple times there we go. And isn't that pretty? Now you have a nice little forest. So Jane says she likes Christmas cards. I already got one. <laughs> Beth said, count me in. Oh, you guys are going to have so much fun. Um, and I miss my big events because they really are fun. So... We got a new haul, so I'm so excited. All right, I'm inking this one up good, and I probably should have tapped on the other side, but now we're going to go over here. So it's going to be slightly off of the imagery that we had before. So, ooh, nice and dark. Isn't that pretty? And if you want, you can come back in while it's still a little wet and take that brush and go over it just a little bit just to highlight that color a little bit more. There we go. All right. Now our greeting. And again, I'm using perennial postage and the You Are Loved Beyond Measure. Because this does not have to be Christmas. That's what's so nice about this one. It may be called Frosted Forest, but definitely not just for Christmas. Hope I'm eyeballing this one right. There we go. Super simple card. But the layering on there is really nice and simple to make. We are going to, here's my little mat. And you can see I was playing and cutting out trees, but why waste that? In fact, here's the little trees. So I stamped one out, stamped one, and then cut it out with that big cut there. So we could actually use that. But I kind of like just this or 
you could add the die cut over the top and you got the little branches leafing out. And then you also have um, that color under there. So Joan says this would make a great card for sympathy. Yes, I agree. I agree. So what do you ladies think? You think we should just leave it stamped or do you like that little piece of die cut on there? I know we have a um, delay in my question, so I'll wait a little bit and layer this. Beth says die cut. They like it. You guys are all voting for the die cut. Beth, Jane. It is pretty, isn't it? I'm going to go and put this on my white so I can make sure I got a nice even. There we go. I only like that little pop of white there. Okay, so far we got three for three with the die. So I think we're going to use that. Sandy says with the die. All right. Gonna get that little piece pulled out here, get her started. There she goes. So we're just gonna put that on our scrap paper and just dot this on. Mostly try to get my edges because you don't want those to pop up on you. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. As I line this up, I actually see that it lines up within that stamped image. Oh, how cool is that? So there we go. And if you want even more dimension, you could actually pop up your greeting across the um, bottom here. That would be pretty, too. There's just so much you can do with that. And I think, speaking of popping up, we are going to pop up our card front here. So let's go do that. So I will be sending details out about our Christmas in July class um, tomorrow. So you'll get all the details, and I, I know you guys are going to love it. The hall is here in West Bend. Beth says you could add some Wink of Stella to the die cut. Oh, sure. Yes, and embellishments. I think my embellishments are all in the basement. I got to get myself hooked up better down there. I think I'm going to have to get a booster for my cable so that it comes in better. That's where we were having so much trouble, everything cutting out and stuff. So we'll get that all set up and get back down there where all my fun stuff is. There you go. That adds a little bit more. So again, super simple card. Um, I, I love the masking technique, especially done this way. And you're right. It would make a nice sympathy card, a birthday card, anything. And we've got this gorgeous new frosted forest. And I can't wait to play with this. And in fact, okay, how many of you are blog readers of mine? Because tomorrow, I don't know if you noticed that there was a little die missing in here. But when I saw this, oops, I'm sliding. Um, when I saw this one with all the trees, I thought that was really cool. I like that. So I um, started playing already. So this one is going to be die cut. And it goes right across the bottom because there is no, um, this does not cut. 
So I put it towards the bottom. So there's one little tip already. Um, so if you want to see what I'm doing with this piece here, join me on my blog tomorrow because I'll post both this one that you saw me do tonight and that will save for another day. And then we're going to do this because I don't know about you, but I love silhouette cards. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this and wait till you see what I'm doing. It's so cool. So, um, I hope everybody commented um, because I'll do the drawing yet tonight and post that online here. And then don't forget to save the date, Wednesday, July 24th. It, the party will be held here in West Bend. And then I'll have other, um, there'll be display boards and, of course, a treat table with all your favorite Christmas goodies on there. So. Hope to see you at that event. And don't forget to find check my blog. I'll post the link um, in the comment section so that you can check it out. So thank you tonight for joining me. I appreciate that. And um, hope to see you on my blog tomorrow. Vicki goes, hi there, really late. Well, that's okay. The re, um, you can rewatch the thing, but at least you caught the end of us. So thanks again, ladies. Don't forget about the classes and bonus days also start tomorrow. So have yourself a wonderful evening. Pop back in and see who wins that little pack of embellishments. Good night now. Thank you.